Yo, who that nation, what is going on? Happy Wednesday in Nico, Canada. You're a freaking legend, man. Welcome into Saints Now by Chat Sports. My name is Trey Strar. This is our weekly live show every Wednesday afternoon. We go live around 4, 4.15, 4.30-ish every single Wednesday. And then sometimes on Fridays, we also go live too. So be sure to turn on your notifications and subscribe today so you can be a part of our next live show. But let's kick it off to my guy, Nico Canada. It's been a minute. Who dat? Let's go. Nico, funny enough, man. I actually was thinking about it. I was like, I haven't seen Nico in a minute. I need to DM him, see how he's doing, see, see, how, he, see how everything's going with you. See how the dad life is treating you. See how life has been going and whatnot. But Nico, you beat me to the punch. You got in with the super chat before we even got this thing rolling. So shout out to you, Nico. Don't you forget about uh, our awesome giveaway we're doing today. We're giving away a puzzle. So Nico, you just got yourself a couple extra entries. But let me know if you're excited for the 2024 NFL Draft while we wait for people to pile in here. Just give me a hoot at in the comment section. This is our build-up portion of our show. So we'll talk about the latest Saints news and rumors here in just a few minutes. But let's get the hoot ats going. I want this chat looking like uh, Caesar's Superdome. I, I want it to look like the Superdome right now. My hand is up. I'm Jimmy Graham walking around getting everybody amped, getting everybody amped. Who dat? Who dat? Who dat? Saying they're going to beat them Saints. We got Chris Davis, Jerry G, Ty Man, the Buckeye, Lore, Nico, the Legend, Canada, Troy Rivers, Woe Q, Ty Man, Braden, Mikey, Joey, Jerry G, Ty Man, and Woe Q. Shout out to all y'all for hanging out with us and keeping the chat alive. And speaking of keeping the chat alive, keep your plans alive and make some new plans with the Game Time app. If you download the Game Time app and use promo code CHATSPORTS, it's at the bottom of your screen right there, you get $20 off your first purchase. The Game Time app, it's the best ticketing app in the whole wide world. And if you want to go check out the Pels as they're getting ready for this NBA playoff run, or LSU football. You can get tickets to that as well. But they don't just have sporting events. They also have comedy shows, theater events, concerts. If it's live, they got you covered and you can get tickets. So download the Game Time app. Use that promo code. When you try to go redeem it, it's going to give you this screen. Just type in C-H-A-T-S-P-O-R-T-S. It's right here. Get $20 off your first purchase. Download the app. Terms apply. Shout out to Game Time for sponsoring today's video. Last minute tickets, lowest price guaranteed. And Mikey Taylor, my man, my friend, my homie, my brother from another mother. Do we have a fan? Bet. I mean, I, I'm such a big fan of Mikey Taylor that I literally grabbed a big fan because I'm a fan of Mikey Taylor. That in our studio is also really hot, so I had to, had to kind of cool it down a minute because of our red hot take seeps and i have been just spitting bars all day long shout out to seeps for helping out today mikey taylor five dollar super chat who dat and what up guys how you doing mikey and randy lemoyne is in the chat so i know that it's gonna get absolutely rowdy today but shout out your city for me let me know where you're tuning in from we are here in dallas texas in beautiful downtown dallas behind enemy lines where the Dallas Cowboys have not won a meaningful football game since before I was alive. Just going to put that out there. In my entire 20, almost 26 years of existence, I've never seen the Cowboys win a meaningful football game. But we got O, oh, hi, O oh, from Time Man the Buckeye. We got Houston from Troy, Baton Rouge from Woke You, Randy saying, my brother Trace, brother Randy, give me a fist bump, man. Give me a fist bump. How you doing? We got Shreveport slash Bozier City from Nico. Shout out to the legend right there. Fort Worth, baby, from Jeremy Gates. We got Redding, California from Randy. Hoodat from Tucson in the house from Desert Dog. We got Freer, Texas from Scott. Uh, Navarre Beach from Chris Davis. Near Asheville, North Carolina from Ken Fox. Kendall Taylor, what's up, man? Reppin' from Jackson, Mississippi. Hey. I love to see it, brother. And Mikey Taylor, as always, country roads take me home to the place I belong, West Virginia. Tuning in. 
Love it, Mikey Taylor. Manuel is in Cisco. Brandon, Ohio. And Valley Lloyd, Alexandria. Love to see it, man. So we are giving away a Saints puzzle today. So if you want an option to get a free entry, here's your chance. Whoever types me the most, I'm going to have producer Seeps pick a name. And that name is going to get a free entry for this puzzle right here. It's super cool. My, bro uh, my brother. <laughs> Maddie would hate me. My girlfriend and I, we actually did this puzzle. We framed it, hung it up at my apartment the other day. It looks sick. Um, it's a really cool, fun thing for you to do. It's like 500 pieces. Uh, easy thing to kind of unplug, take your, you know, take your eyes off the screen for a little bit, talk about Saints football with a friend, family member, significant other, or anybody else. But keep on rolling. Maddie the Baddie's watching in Dallas. Shout out to you, girl. Thank you for the jersey swaps. Uh, Ty Man wants a free entry. Jerry G wants a free entry. Braden wants a free entry. Keep going. Keep the me's rolling. Who wants this puzzle? Who wants a free entry in our raffle for this puzzle? All right. Braden, Ty Man, Mikey, Nico, Braden. All right, Seeps. I'm going to count you down. Just uh, pick a name, close. all right? Last call. Keep them going. Keep them going. Faster, 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 faster. Faster, faster. We're trying to give you guys away this puzzle, and you can get it for free. All right. Ready? Five, four, three, two, one. Who is it? Braden. Braden gets a free entry for the puzzle. Braden gets a free entry, but don't you worry. If you want another opportunity to get on it, you can just send in a $10 super chat. We're raffling it off at the end of the show. Anyone who sent in a $10 super chat or more throughout the entire month of March, you are in the raffle. I went through and we have, I think it's 120 something names. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, we got a lot of entries. And now we have a few more. Because Randy, the legend, Lamont, $100 super chat, boom, 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 boom. There we go. Randy, when we figure out what our April MVP item is going to be, you are the leader in the clubhouse for it, my friend. Ten entries for Randy in today's giveaway. And on top of that, you're in the leader in the clubhouse for our MVP item for April. So here is the wheel. Like I said, a lot of entries. Now we're up to like about 130 entries on this. So it's going to be pretty fun. It really could go to anybody. But Randy, the big baller. Can everyone give me a hoot at Randy in the chat? Everyone give me a hoot at Randy. For that $100 super chat. I mean, we haven't even gotten into the cuts, and it's getting out of hand, baby. It is getting absolutely bonkers in the chat. So everyone give a hoot at Randy. We got Mikey Taylor typing it. We got Jerry G typing it. Rebel Raider says, Trace, can I hear you say, Is that good, good for you, Rebel? <laughs> pretty damn Was good. that good? I think it was the best Raiders I've heard in this office. Might, might have been. I, some would say that it's up there with Mitchell Renz and Jeremy Chuck's Raider champ. Ty Man saying who that, Randy. Kyle, Randy with the 100 bomb. Love to see it. Puzzle would go to a good, uh, would go good with my pictures of dogs playing poker. It would. Ken, hopefully you can win the puzzle. You know what, Ken? I don't know if Ken's in there. Can you throw Ken Fox in there just once for yeah. me? He, he comments on every single one of our videos without fail. He's always in our live chat, so we got to show him a little bit of love. Ken, you're getting a free entry. But let me know, who should the Saints draft in round two? Because we're going to be going through some day two selections that the Saints could target with that number 45 overall selection. We got a lot of really interesting names, including who ESPN thinks is the best fit for New Orleans in the later rounds. I guarantee you, you have no idea where this is going. And I can also guarantee you this, you're going to love the guy's last name. You're going to absolutely love the guy's last name. Kyle really wants Tavondre Sweat, the defensive tackle out of Texas. Uh, Jerry G wants a defensive end or a defensive tackle in round two. Jeremy Gates wants uh, uh, Xavier Leggett. I think Xavier Leggett would be really good for the New Orleans Saints offense. I think if Derek Carr was throwing at the football, he'd score a lot of touchdowns. There's, there's my Xavier Leggett slash Forrest Gump. 
A little bit of Randy Moss. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Jerry G, appreciate you for keeping the chat rolling. But as for what we're getting into on today's show, we don't just take super chats and chop it up and act like fools and get loud. We also like to give you guys really good content, really good coverage. Randy wants an edge rusher. Randy, I think I'm with you. I'd like an edge rusher too. I'd, I'd love to see that. Randy, I see you are much love back at your bro. Mikey Taylor, Randy Lemoyne, our co-MVPs of last month showing some love. They held it down for us. They held, I mean, without Queen Courtney, without Nico Canada, without Mikey Taylor, without Randy Lemoyne, without Ken Fox, Kyle, Jerry G, Jeremy Gates, all of them, this channel would not be nearly as fun as it is. But I just really want to give a special shout-out to everyone who tunes into our live shows because, hey, this is where all the fun is had. But coming up on today's video, we're going to be live for about an hour, so just kind of hang tight with us. Free agency buzz. Who could the Saints go and sign? There's still some pretty nice free agents out there. And a suggestion for a defensive back. We're going to talk about who that is in a second. The latest draft rumors. Like I said, there's a bunch of mock drafts that have come out. We're going to go through a roundup of those selections and who the Saints could select in their later round picks. And on top of that, we got a mailbag at the end of the video. So if you guys want to get on the show, use hashtag Saints or send in a super chat. And you can skip the line if you do send in that super chat. We'll show you get a little extra love. But we want to get you on the show. So this is your chance right now. Load up the questions, hot takes, trade ideas, drafts, art, whatever. It can be anything. You can ask me even about my personal life. I don't really care. But use hashtag Saints. That's my only requirement. I'm going to take off this hat for our first cut. But we need to, uh, we need to get some hashtag Saints in the, in the uh, chat. This is your chance to pretty much have the best shot for free to get on the show. So Braden is using hashtag S. Not quite it, Braden. But I'll tell you what. You're close there. You're really, really close. So Scott saying who that, Randy. Shout out to you, Scott, watching on delay. All right, let's just dive into... Today's free agency buzz. Um, if you guys think of any questions throughout the show, feel free to use hashtag Saints, send in a super chat, and we'll get you on the program. Without further ado, Seeps, I'm going to lather the pipes. Let's get this thing rocking and rolling. That went, that backfired. I put, got water up my nose. All right. Let's talk about it. New Orleans Saints. Braden, I love that question, by the way. Love that question. Let's get into it. Uh, free agency rumors coming at you. Quandre Diggs can patrol the middle of the field as a single high post safety. He did that often in his first two seasons with the Seattle Seahawks, as Seattle was still a heavy cover three defense. In the past two seasons, the Seahawks used more split safeties, but Diggs still played deep. Now, if you don't know what we're talking about in today's video, let me tell you. It's free agents that the New Orleans Saints can sign. And hey, spoiler alert, the first one we're going to talk about is Quandre Diggs. But before we dive into today's free agency rumors, I need your help. We're closing in on 27,000 subscribers. We're just under 300 away. So help a brother out. Lock us in for daily Saints videos around your favorite team, all for 100% free. So here are the free agents that we're going to be discussing in today's video. Quandre Diggs, like we mentioned off the top of this video, he could be an interesting fit. Justin Simmons, another safety that I would love the New Orleans Saints to go explore, and I know I'm not alone in that thought. Chris Hubbard and Makai Becton are offensive tackle options. They're not sexy options, options nonetheless, though. And of course, can't have a free agency video without talking about Hunter Renfro. Let's kick it off with Quandre Diggs, though, kicking it back to the 33rd team. Last year, just kind of looping that original quote back to the Saints, New, New Orleans Saints used about the same rate of middle of the field open and close coverages as the Seahawks. Pretty interesting there. But the Saints were more aggressive in their single high coverages with one of the highest rates of cover one. Last season, New Orleans was forced to use Tyron Matthew as their deep safety, though his strengths are better used when moving around the defense. I actually kind of agree with that. I think that Tyron Matthew is really effective in a lot of different ways, but I think he's most effective when you can kind of just let him do anything. 
But back to the quote. With Marcus May and Lonnie Johnson gone, the Saints now have a hole at safety next to Tyron Matthew. Now, the this, this Saints did bring back Jonathan Abram. That was a move that was expected, and they did bring him back in free agency. But kicking it to Quandre Diggs, I think that this would be an actually decent option here. I mean, Quandre Diggs is a veteran in this league. He also has decent coverage stats. You can see him on your screen right there. Only allowed one touchdown, less than 300 yards, or less than 250 yards last year for Diggs in Seattle. And I think that he could be a really good fit and maybe you can get him at a little bit cheaper of a price tag. But if you want to go spend the money, why would you go explore Justin Simmons? Why would you go and pay a king's ransom for this kind of player? Well, because he's another quality veteran that you can have mentor Jordan Howden and play alongside Tyron Matthew. And one of the things that I love about Howden and Simmons is how versatile they both are. We already saw the Saints utilize Howden in multiple different spots as a safety. He lined up in a lot of different areas deep. He lined up in the box. He lined up all over the place. Justin Simmons can do that too. And at the end of the day, you need a guy who can play in the box slash that slot position because you haven't really had a guy since C.J. Gardner-Johnson left. And Alante Taylor hasn't really panned out to be that box middle guy that you really wanted him to be. But I think Justin Simmons bringing him in can also allow... Jordan Howden to open up a lot of opportunities. It can allow Tyron Matthew to just play on an island because he doesn't have to cover as much of the field because you have a reliable guy in Justin Simmons. In the screen, or and on your screen, the production speaks for itself. Simmons has led the, intercept, er, led the league in interceptions since joining the NFL after getting drafted, and he's a really freaking good football player. I would love Justin Simmons to be a New Orleans Saint, but at the end of the day, this isn't Trizzy Sports. This isn't Trace Sports. This is Chat Sports. So I want to chit-chat with you, and I want to have a conversation. Would you rather have Justin Simmons or Quandre Diggs? Just give me a JS for Simmons, a QD for Diggs. Let me know what you think in the comment section. And while you're down there, I encourage you to look for the link for our Game Time app and the information I'm about to tell you. Because if you use our promo code Chat Sports, that's C-H-A-T-S-P-O-R-T-S, get $20 off your first purchase. Now, basically to me, that's saying, hey, Maddie, you want to go to go to Stars game? Let's go, to, let's go to a Star, or hey, let's go get tickets to an LSU football game. Or why don't we go to a Pelicans game because they're about to start their playoff run? Why don't we go do that? And Maddie says, perfect, let's go do it. And I say, hey, Maddie, even better, I'm boyfriend of the year, I got you a t-shirt because I saved $20 thanks to the game time app. I was going to spend the money anyway. I wanted to treat my girl with something nice. Because of the Game Time app and because of the code Chat Sports, I was able to have a little extra money to spend while I was at my favorite live events. And it's not just sports. It, it's also comedy shows, concerts, theater. My point being, if it's a live show, you can get tickets from Game Time. So download the Game Time app, create an account, and use code Chat Sports for $20 off. Terms do apply. But once again, Download the Game Time app. Use promo code C-H-A-T-S-P-O-R-T-S for $20 off. All that information is in the comment section and description of this video. All right, let's have the conversation that we all don't want to have, but it's a necessary conversation. What the hell are we doing with the offensive line? I mean, who on God's green earth are going to be your starting tackles? Because Trevor Penning, jury might still be out, to be fair. He has been a bust up to this point. Ryan Ramchek has virtually no cartilage left in his knee. So he might retire. That's a very real possibility the Saints need to prepare themselves for. You brought in Ole Udo, decent swing tackle kind of guy, played with Minnesota for a little bit. Nick Saldaveri traded up to go and get him last year, and he does offer some versatility. Maybe he can be a decent player. But at the end of the day, you need an offensive tackle. And I'm going to be honest, you need to get one in free agency and one in the draft. Now, for me personally, I'm not as high on the idea of Makai Becton as I am Chris Hubbard. I think Becton does have some qualities that are interesting, but he just hasn't panned out and hasn't been the caliber of player that people wanted him to be and that the Jets specifically wanted to be coming out of college. The PFF grades, they highly, excuse me, they highly favor Chris Hubbard. And one thing about Makai Becton that really just rubs me the wrong way, giggity, it's those 50 pressures. I, I don't like that because I'm a believer that pressures are a meaningful metric because pressures 
lead to sacks. They lead to throwaways. They lead to bat, poorly thrown balls. They lead to a lot of different things. So I like the idea of going Chris Hubbard in free agency. But like I said, you got to address it in the draft. And I think that you have to go and get one of these guys. One of these players has to be a, a draft pick by the New Orleans. More than likely, it's a first-round pick. Olu Fashanu, hot take, might be the best uh, offensive lineman in the draft this year. Joe Alt, he is a bona fide, just blue blood, through and through, starter day one, offensive tackle that will make a big impact. I also think Olu Fashanu has some really good qualities, and he's a really smart player. And he comes from the Big Ten where, to be honest, they are putting out offensive linemen like uh, LSU's putting out wide receivers. Or actually, never mind. We're going to keep it moving. Talisi Fuaga, he's a right tackle, a mauler. He has really, really nice attributes, and he has some really nice qualities that I think would be a really good fit for New Orleans, especially if they can't roll with Ryan Ramchek. Troy Fontenew, he plays on the interior offensive line, but he's versatile, and he can kind of play anywhere. And Amarius Mims, he is also a right tackle. Fuaga and Mims specifically, they have only slash predominantly taken right tackle spot, uh, snaps. So I wouldn't necessarily trust one of those two guys to be my left tackle of the future, but Olu Fashanu, hell yeah. Troy Fontenu, absolutely. Joe Walt, I'm sprinting to the draft stage with my card. And my point about all of this, I made it before, I'm going to say it again. You cannot leave the draft with no offensive line selection. If you do, you failed. I don't care if you somehow end up with Jane Daniels and Malik Neighbors and Jalen Green and Luke McCann. I don't give a shit. I, I don't. If, you don't. if you don't somehow bring in an offensive lineman, bad draft. If you don't use one of your top two picks on offensive linemen, going to make a hot take maybe? Might not be the best draft. This offensive line group is deep, so you can find talent in every pick, but I don't want to wait from round two to round five. That's just not something I'm interested in doing. So that's where I am kind of in the boat of, you got to go and do this in both ways. So where would you rather build the offensive line? Through the draft or through free agency? Just type D for draft or FA for free agency. Let me know in the comment section. If you're with me and you think both, feel free to say both as well. But let's talk about Renfro. Like I said, can't talk about uh, free agency buzz without Hunter Renfro being mentioned. The Saints still need to add to their wide receiver group, and I do think that they're not done adding to it. I think that they're going to draft a guy. I think that they're going to add some UDFAs, and I also think that a player like Hunter Renfro does make a lot of sense. And Derek Carr, <clears throat> kind of speaking, just everyone knows this, there's chemistry and there's familiarity between Carr and Renfro. Everyone remembers third and Renfro. That was a very real connection that they had. And uh, with Derek Carr, Hunter Renfro put up some pretty decent numbers, over 2,500 yards and 16 touchdowns in his career. But with the Saints wide receiver room right now, I'm going to just say this. Stanley Morgan, that's a, uh, that is a special teams addition. I don't, I don't think he's going to have more than 10 catches this year. If, I, if he does, and he's a good player, fully prepared to be wrong, and I'll eat my own words. But A.T. Perry, I think, is a big-time breakout candidate. Rashid Shahid, we know what the speedster can do. We just need to see him get utilized a little bit more and stay healthy. But I think if you were to bring in a guy like Hunter Renfro, you can have some more versatility with Rashid Shahid. You can line him up on the outside. You can line him up at the slot as well. You can have A.T. Perry line up in the slot. You can have A.T. Perry line up on the outside. Whereas Hunter Renfro, I would like him to be our slot guy. And then you have a package of Chris Olave, Hunter Renfro, Juwan Johnson is your tight end, Rashid Shahid. Maybe you don't go tight end. Maybe you also throw A.T. Perry in there instead. And then you have Alvin Kamara run, holding it down as a running back. I think that that's a really smart way to go about it. And I do think that Hunter Renfro makes a lot of sense. It's the obvious move for New Orleans. Like, this is something that I just cannot see the Saints not or like passing up. It just makes too much sense. But I'd also draft a wide receiver. And what I would do is I would draft a wide receiver first, and then in May, maybe even as far as June, I would go and sign Hunter Renfro. Let the, let the market kind of dip. Let it kind of cost a little extra, or a little less money, excuse me, and go and get a guy like an Adnay Mitchell or Xavier Leggett or Lad McConkie, who's a yak machine, Keon Coleman, a big body dude. Jonathan Franklin has unbelievable production for Oregon. Malachi Corley might actually be the best yak artist in the college football sphere or in the draft this year and all of these guys you see on your screen 
are wide receiver slash pass catching targets that you can get in day two or later. I don't have Marvin Harrison Jr. I don't have Malik Neighbors or Brian Thomas because I don't think that the Saints are going wide receiver round one. But there's one note here. Jatavion Sanders at the bottom right of your screen. He's a tight end. And if the Saints want to add a tight end, they've expressed interest in adding a pass catcher, not specifically a receiver, but a pass catcher. That's coming from Dennis Allen. Jatavion Sanders might make some sense in round two. If you made it to the end of the video, it's a little bit of a longer one. I just want you to give a real one in the chat because it's a real one. Roll call. So show me you're a real one by giving me a real one in the chat. And as always, Saints fans, y'all stay golden. See you next time. Boom. Now you're talking on Renfro from Lan Randy. Yep, Renfro would be a good move later on. Um, Larry would like Hubbard on a vet min minimum. I agree. A lot of y'all were saying both for where you want to build the offensive line. I'm glad we all agree on that. But we got Randy, who's a real one. Braden's a real one. Desert Dog's a real one. Braden, Duff Nation, Sean Wallace, all real ones. Sean also saying, go get Xavier Worthy. Wouldn't be a bad idea. Wouldn't be a bad idea. All right. Really quick plug. If you guys want an opportunity to win this puzzle that my girlfriend and I did, $10 Super Chat. We're going to raffle it off at the end of the show. We have about 130 entries on it. And if you send in a $10 Super Chat over the in course of the entire uh, month of April, we got you on here. Ross Jackson just tweeting out, Saints offensive lineman Nick Saldaveri is here at the Breeze Family Field at the inaugural uh, girls' high school flag football season gets underway. Yeah, the Saints are hosting a girls' flag, a high school like flag football tournament, which is pretty cool. Um, Nick Saldaveri, we just talked about him. He is there. $10 Super Chat gets you into the raffle to win this puzzle. And on top of that, <clears throat> here in about 20, 30 minutes, we got a mailbag coming up. So use hashtag Saints. Better yet, send in a Super Chat like Randy or like Nico and we'll get you on the program. You can send in hot takes. You can ask questions. You can give draft targets, trade ideas, whatever you want to do. I just want you to get on the show, and I want you to be seen by thousands and thousands of Saints fans. I mean, we've had mailbags get 10, 20K views. You want to get seen in front of 10 or 20,000 people? Send in a question. The, hot, the, the hotter, the better. Like, the crazier the idea, the better. But that's an easy way to get on the show. Um, Brayden. I'm going to tell you right now, we're not going to put that up there just because it's hashtag Saints go. Like, add a full question. Don't just use hashtag Saints. We're not just going to throw your picture up. We need, we, need, um, we need a question and we need a talking point or whatever because it's chat sports, not just picture sports. You know what I mean? Duff Nation, great question. Great question there. All right. Let's dive into it. Good call. Also, do you like this hat? Y'all like this hat? Y'all think it's sick? I think it's sick. We're going to tell you how you can actually get this hat here in, in this cut. So I encourage you to stick around and pay attention because we're going to tell you how you can, you can get the lid that I'm wearing uh, to send to your house. Brayden saying, I misentered. No worries, brother. No worries. All right. Let's talk about it. We got some draft buzz I want to get to, and we're going to have a conversation about it. Randy thinks it's a badass hat. Randy, I think you're a badass man. Maybe, we'll, maybe, maybe, you'll, uh, maybe you'll catch one of these hats. Maybe, maybe you can pick one of these up with our link. Mikey Taylor, $20 super chat. I want Brock Bowers and Luke McCaffrey, but of course, an offensive tackle. So he, he, hear me out, Mikey. Let's say... Saints at 14, go Brock Bowers. And then they go in round two, whether it's trading up, whether it's he falls, go get Tyler Guyton, the offensive tackle out of Oklahoma, or what's the, Graham Barton, the guy out of Duke? And then who is the Kansas guy that you talked about? There's a Can oh, he's an offensive guard though, right? He's a guard. Saints could use a guard. Dominic, Dominic Pooney, he's a, he's a guard. Saints could use a guard, but what about going round one, Brock Bowers, round two, an Amarius Mims or a T 
Tyler Guyton or a Graham Barton, and then after that, you go get Luke McCaffrey in the fifth. I wouldn't hate it. I think that'd be a good one. All right. Let's get this thing rocking and rolling. Draft rumors coming up. A lot of people are agreeing with Mikey. Shout out to you for that $20 super chat, brother. We always appreciate it. <coughs> Damn. I just had to – hold on. Something stuck in the back of my throat. Oh, I figured out what's stuck in my back of the, the back of my throat. Giggity. It's my hot takes. All right. Let's talk about it. Let's get into today's show. And uh, Seeps, whenever you're ready. Coming up on today's video, I'm going to discuss ESPN's perfect fit for the New Orleans Saints in a second round or third round or fourth round, but just not a day one selection. We're also going to talk about the mock draft roundup with picks coming in from ESPN, NFL Network, CBS Sports, The Athletic, and more. But before we do that, we're closing in on 27,000 subscribers, so help a brother out. Lock us in today and hit that sub button for more Daily Saints videos for 100% free. I promise you will not regret it. But let's talk about this ESPN draft target. You guys are going to love this guy's name. Mohamed Kamara. Kamara. Whatever. You like the name? Solely based on the name, I'm, pick, I'm making this pick. I, I don't... For the record, no relation to Alvin Kamara. There, there is no relation to Alvin Kamara. They have the same last name, but they are not a part of the same family. But ESPN did select Mohamed Kamara, the uh, edge rusher out of Colorado State, to be a prospect that fills a need outside of round one. And in 2023, he was the Mountain West Conference Defensive Player of the Year. And at the end of the day, some of the attributes about him, he has a really great motor, not the best size, but he knows how to play with leverage so that way he can still win when pass rushing. And the stats for Kamara are freaking impressive. Look at that. In 12 games, he had 13 sacks. He, he averaged more than one sack a game. Ladies and gentlemen, that's really good production. He also had 64 pressures. And then in 2022, eight and a half sacks, 53 pressures. In 2021, six and a half sacks, 21 pressures. And in 2020, very limited sample size, one and a half sacks, six pressures. But here's the thing. I know that he's not coming from LSU. I understand he's not coming from Florida State. I get that he's not coming from an Ohio State or a Texas or a big-time Power 5, like, powerhouse school that's always cranking out NFL uh, caliber players. To be quite honest, I hope I'm outside of my two minutes. I don't give a shit where he went to school. If he has good production, I'm in on it. I, I couldn't care less. Like, there are so many uh, examples of players coming from small schools that have went on to do very good things in the NFL. Of course, it's not nearly as many who went to big schools and made big things in the NFL. But my point being, I think that this would be a really good addition to the Saints defense. Because when you look at the advanced stats, his overall PFF grade is stellar. The pass rush grade is through the freaking roof. He's also a good run stopper. He's not great, but he's a good run stopper. And his pass rush win rate, just under 20%. Guys, that's really freaking good. And the run stop rate, 5.1%. Not bad. Could be better. Not bad, though. But this guy is a freaking animal. And I think that the Ram would be an absolute hammer on the Saints defense. I think that he would be, the Colorado State Ram would be a battering Ram in New Orleans. Give him to me in round three or four. You might be saying, Trace, you don't have a third or fourth round selection. The Saints, the Saints pick in round one. They pick in round two. A plethora of fifth round selections. Okay, cool. Trade up. You can trade up. Or hell, you can even trade down. But if this guy is available in round three or four, hell yeah, I would love to go and get him. Hell yeah, if he's there at round five, don't even think about it. Make the freaking selection. But if you can't go and get Kamara, what about Jalen Green? We've talked about him before. I think he's a late round sleeper. And this guy's production is stellar. 15 and a half sacks for JMU, 50 tackles. And again, as a small school guy, but don't forget, don't get it twisted. James Madison was a top 25 team this past year. They were a good football team. Ever since they took the leap to Division I, they have been a quality program. Jalen Green has been a big part of their defensive success. And I would love to bring in Jalen Green to New Orleans. But I want to ask you this one question. What say you, Saints fans? How big of a need is defensive line? Just scale it for me, 1 to 100. For me, I'm going to put it at about a 78 
I don't think it's quite at an 80. I think that offensive line is like a 90. I think you can kind of take a little bit of a rest on defensive line, go and get a guy, but it's not like we have to make a pick in round one. So scale it for me, 1 to 100. And really quick plug, you guys see the lid that I'm rocking? It's absolutely fresh, it's funky, and it's the coolest thing I've ever worn. Really breathable material, it's very comfortable. You can get the same hat as me if you use this link right below me, chatsports.com slash saintsrope, as the rope on the rope hat. That's why we made it the link. It's from Fanatics, but if you use our link, uh, Fanatics will know that one, we sent you, and two, it supports the show, and three, you can get geared up. But let's keep going to the draft rumors, and let's talk about this mock draft roundup. So ESPN, in their latest mock draft, had the Saints selecting Talisi Fuaga. He's a right tackle kind of guy. He can play really good football. He's a mauler. He's aggressive. And I would like that selection specifically to fill in and replace Ryan Ramchek. Now, NFL.com had Olu Fashanu. I love that pick. Like, I, I want to make it very clear here. Olu Fashanu is a outstanding selection for New Orleans. I would love that pick. That is my number one offensive line. So not much to say there. The Athletic did have Brock Bowers getting selected by the New Orleans Saints. In Walter Football, uh, they had Jared Verse getting drafted by New Orleans. I think that they won't really go defensive line in round one, especially adding Chase Young. I think that kind of puts a nail in the coffin for going and getting an edge rusher in round one. But I wanted to grade all of these mock these picks. So I'm going to just kind of go from the best to the worst grade. I love the pick. Olu Fashanu, A+. Plus. It's a great pick. Just plain and simple. I've done a lot of draft uh, analysis. I've talked about him on the channel a lot. Literally could click into any video about the draft and we probably talk Olu Fashanu. Talisi Fuaga, I give an A-. minus. I want to show up the left tackle side more than the right tackle side because right now as things stand, Ryan Ramchek could be ready to go for the season. We don't really know how badly the injury is, but we do know that Trevor Penning is not it. We need a left tackle. And maybe, just maybe, Ryan Ramchek can play. So that's why I'm saying left tackle over right tackle. That's why A minus versus or A plus versus A minus. Walter football for Jared versus I gave it an A minus. I, I mean, it's like I like the pick. To be honest, though, it would be kind of closer to a B minus. Now that I'm kind of thinking about it, just because it's not as big of a need. But Brock Bowers, I give a B plus because I think pass catcher is important for the Saints. But offensive line is my number one thing. You have to go get offensive line in round one, if you ask me. But for the record, I, I want to make one thing clear here. The Saints do need offensive line. That's kind of been the theme of the day. But I wouldn't mind Brock Bowers. I, I want that to be very well known here. I want offensive line, but if Olu Fashanu, Troy Fontenu, Talisi Fuaga, J.C. Latham, I'm not even high on J.C. Latham. I, I personally wouldn't make that selection, but if all of the top tackles are gone, don't force the offensive line pick. Take a guy like Brock Bowers at 14 and select another offensive lineman in round two. This offensive tackle depth or er, uh, cl draft class is so deep, I think you can afford to get a guy in the second round if a special player like Brock Bowers falls. He's a generational player, and if you can pair him with Clint Kubiak, maybe, just maybe, you can get very similar usage and production that George Kittle got in San Francisco when Kubiak was in San Fran as well. But get crazy for me. I want you to drop a bold take, a red-hot, fiery take for the NFL Draft in the comment section. I'm going to give you one second. I'm going to let you get yours in. For mine... I think Malik Neighbors might go before Marvin Harrison Jr. And I am not an LSU fan. I went to the University of Arkansas. But I really like what Malik Neighbors has been doing in the pre-draft process. I really like the tape on Neighbors. I think Marvin Harrison Jr. is a great wide receiver. Don't get me wrong. I think two things can be true. Both can be great, but I also think that Malik Neighbors might go first. Like, that's my bold take. Might be wrong, but that's why it's a bold take, because I think it's crazy. I, I think it could happen. But let me know what your bold take is in the comments section. And as always, Saints fans, y'all stay golden. All right, let me know. What's your bold take for the NFL draft? See if you got any bold takes for the draft. Bold take? You got any red hot takes that you just got to get off your chest? Duff Nation I saying Jane Daniels goes number one. <laughs> That's a bold take. That is a no doubt bold take. Um, what about your boy Olu Fashanu going ahead of Joe Alt? 
I could see that happening. I could see that. I could see because, that like, case. before the draft, it was pretty even. Um, I could maybe see that. I don't know. Bold take. Maybe Bowers falling outside the top ten. Yeah, like... Be nuts. Boulder take. Bowers falls to the 20s. Bower, that would be insane. That would be insane. But I could see it. Like... Again, we're getting bold here. We're yeah, bold. this is not a, what do we think is actually that. This is, let's get crazy. This is a hot take central. Uh, let's see what you guys are saying. Um, <laughs> Jeremy for the one out of 100 for 69. And then Nick Giggity. Jeremy knows what's, what's going on. I hope Bowers doesn't go to the Jets. See, I think the Jets are a prime team to take good. Brock Bowers. I also could see a situation, like, if they do go and get him, like, that's a good thing because then that means an Olu Fashanu or a Joe Alt is there. I'm not even going to play around with J.C. Latham. Yeah. Just too many penalties. The size is impressive. The, he was the best offensive lineman in Alabama, but calling a spade a spade, the Alabama offensive line wasn't all that great this past year. Sorry, Maddie. Mikey Taylor, $10 super chat. We'll add you for another option, uh, or we'll add you another name in the raffle. Any chance you would show my newest mock draft that I sent you? Give me one sec, Mikey. Let me see if I can find it. Let me see if I can find it real quick. Okay, here we go. Let me get this as a link. Mikey, give me two seconds. See if I'm going to just put a... Wait, you got it. Yeah, I'm going to put a photo in there. He, he DM'd it to me. Oh, shoot. Need to... Shoot. Hold on. It's going to take an extra second. Boot. You guys got any hot takes you want to share? Share your hot takes. I want to see what you guys are thinking about the draft this year. All right. Uh, and I got the link. All right. That's not what I wanted. Here we go. Shout out to Mikey, though. I'm yeah, excited. Mikey, like he's been sending he's been sending me a bunch of uh, mock drafts. I've been very pleased with them. Like he's he's got some Saints mock draft, Mikey Taylor edition. My, Mikey mock the Mikey mock is always great. Taysom deserves to start for quarterback. Larry, no, he doesn't. Taysom Hill is a great football player. He is not a quarterback though. All right, Brock Bowers at fourteen. Love the pick. Blake Fisher, the other offensive tackle like from Notre that. Dame at 45. Good option. Notre Dame tackles. Just sign me up for it. You trade up to pick 91, and you select Luke McCaffrey, the brother of Christian McCaffrey. I love that. Uh, B. Jammin since birth. No, I'm not interested in trading Taysom Hill because you're not going to get a first-round pick. You're not going to get a second-round pick. You're not going to get a third-round pick. You're not going to get a fourth-round pick. At best, you get a fifth, maybe a sixth. Like, I'm just telling you right now, the tra Saints fans value Taysom Hill more than the NFL values Taysom Hill. Just straight, full transparency. The there. only team that could send them is the Broncos. Broncos. The Broncos That's are the, the only team, team who would be interested in trading for Taysom Hill, and they're the only team who would give something halfway decent of a trade package. They are not going to trade Taysom Hill. The Saints, there's no point in them doing it. Like They are better off with Taysom Hill on the roster, and Taysom Hill is better off being on the Saints roster. So Luke McCaffrey at pick 91. Cody Schrader, the running back, at 168. I don't hate the running back selection. I may not do that at 168, maybe later, but I don't hate the pick there, Mikey. Uh, Tyke Smith, a safety out of Georgia. I like that. Trayvon Wallace, linebacker out of Kentucky. I love it. Jalen Green, my guy. I love that pick. Drake Stoops, the wide receiver out of Oklahoma. And then another offensive tackle, Cameron Wire from the Tulane Green Waves. And then Beanie Bishop Jr. I think that might be a homer pick with uh, West Virginia. <laughs> I love Maybe. it. Great but name. I, great, great football name. Beanie, Beanie was, Bishop. Beanie Bishop Jr., dude. Beanie Bishop, baby. That's a, that's a great football name. Um, thank you for sending that mock draft, Mikey. I appreciate you, brother. I pre thank you, brother. Thank you. Thank you, brother. Special teams, special players, special subscribers. Randy! <laughs> All right. We're going to we, – we've been beep bopping around. Shout out to Randy. Hot take. Luke McCaffrey goes round one from Nico. I don't know if Luke McCaffrey goes round one, but 
But I could see him somehow sneaking into the second, third round. Oh, that would be pretty crazy. Randy, $20 super chat. I guess Randy gets another extra couple entries. Shout out to Randy. There you go. Shout out to uh, Randy, the legend Lemoyne. So here is what we're giving away. Uh, we're giving away this Saints puzzle. It's a bunch of dogs watching what I like to think. So I, I <laughs> what I what I like to de describe this puzzle is at any given time throughout a Saints game, one of these dogs' faces is your face. Or anytime Jameis Winston would throw the ball, that was the faces because it was either you're praying, it was I can't watch, it was oh my god what a play, oh my god what a super chat. Holy shit! Nico! Nico! <laughs> oh my goodness! Nico and Randy! They're already duking it out for the April MVP! They're throwing haymakers! It's Jake Paul versus Mike Tyson! They're going! They're throwing them around! I love it! I absolutely love it! Randy, I also love this message. Pete's love and eternal grooviness. I have this saying, keep it groovy like a drive-in movie. That, I, that's, my, that's my motto. I like to keep things groovy like it's a drive-in movie. It's a lot of fun. But you know what's more fun? is my guy, Nico Canada. I, Nico, when are you going to come visit me, bro? When, when are we going to go grab a beer? When are we going to hang out? When, when are we going to hang out, man? Because, dang, man. What a legend. This guy is a new dad. And he is helping out the channel. Nico. Holy cow. Excuse my French, but holy shit. What a guy. What a guy. Nico, I mean, we got to do something for it. Seeps, shot after we do Nico. this mailbag shot fundraise, just because yeah. we got two 100s. Yeah. Quickly. You know what? I'll throw it out there. Okay. If somebody matches Nico's 100, I'll do a boot after the show. Ooh. If somebody matches his hundred, I'll do a boot after the show. Ooh, beer boot! If we get one more one hundred, somebody's got to match it though. Somebody's got to match him. Who's gonna do it? Uh, Nico says he's got a wedding next week and he's so busy. No worries, Nico. We just appreciate you hanging out. We just appreciate you supporting. Uh, I also love the messages you send me on Instagram. He sends Nico sends me some of the funniest IG reels. I have ever seen. I, I'm not even going to lie. Nico, I sent a lot of those to my dad too because he just figured out how to use Instagram. So I've been sending him reels a ton. A lot of the ones you send me, I send to my own dad. And my dad's one of the funniest people I know. So he loves them. So that says a lot about you, my man. All right. Last thing. We're doing a mailbag. Hashtag Saints. Better yet, send in a super chat and we'll answer any questions, discuss any hot takes, and all of that good stuff here any second um. Okay, I was like, what just happened? Niners signed a running back. That's cool. All right, use hashtag Saints, send in a super chat. We'll get you on the program. And uh, if you do send in a super chat, it's like the fast pass at Disney World or Six Flags where you skip the line and show you a little extra love and whatnot. But let's get into it. Do we have enough questions? Uh, we could use a couple more. Could use a few more. Get a couple more could use there. a few more. So I'll tell you right now, Braden, give me a hashtag Saints with a question or a hot take, and we'll get you on the show. I ask and Braden sends it before I can even finish the sentence. Larry, another option to send in the hashtag Saints. Larry, you're in a lot of our videos. You're in a lot of our live streams. I would love to hear from you, my friend. He does say, Nico, congrats. I've been married nine years. Make it 10 on April 19th. It's a blessing. We'll grow into it. Wait, Nico, is your wedding next week? Dude, I just miss Nico, you're getting married next week? Holy. What? Holy cow. Busy man. Yeah. I can see why you've been busy. You've been getting ready to get married. To his beautiful fiance. Yes, sir. Nico. <laughs> Hats off to you, Nico. Hats off to you. Congratulations. Can everyone just type congrats to Nico? He's getting married. He's getting married next week. I, everyone on no, Friday. Friday. Oh my gosh. Here's the thing. We might next. Son of a there bitch. you go. All right, here we go. Next Friday might need to go live before Nico's wedding. Just to be like, everyone <laughs> send me a Venmo and I'm going to send it to Nico yeah. or something ridiculous. I don't know. 
Nico, congratulations, dude. That is awesome. I'm so happy for you, man. I'm I'm so excited. God bless you. God bless your family, man. That is so I'm getting so red. I'm just so excited for you, man. But I'm also pumped up for this. Randy the legend. Lemoyne! Sending in a hundred dollar super chat. That means Seeps is doing a boot. Yeah, we'll get to it. Seeps is doing a boot. That's three beers in one glass. We're going to do that here in just a few minutes. Let us get through this uh, 10 to 12 minute cut. 10 minutes is fine. Um, and we will get it on the show. Brayden, thank you for sending that question in. Just take the space away from hashtag and saints. Okay? Just do that. Got to go for the 100 again. Congrats to Nico from Randy. Hell yeah. Randy, just so you know, I don't, I, I can't remember if you've done it before, but you can send, you can like put a message in the super chat with it. So if you want to like add in a message, feel free. Like that, it just, I, I, I think you've done it before. I just want to, you know, help you out, brother. All right. <sighs> Let's talk about it. We're going to do some mailbag questions and have a good time. Are we going to questions now? Cool. All right. Let's dive into it. And without further ado, I'm going to tell you to hit your boy up on social media. What's going on, Houdat Nation? I encourage you before we dive into this mailbag where we're going to be answering your questions and reacting to your hot takes, give me a follow on social media, especially on X. Uh, I've been actually running a lot of Twitter spaces recently. Every Monday evening, I've been doing a Twitter space for the last couple of weeks. Easy way for just us to hop on, talk person to person, over the phone in front of a ton of Saints fans. We even are trying to get guys like Ross Jackson, John Hendricks, Chris Rosvoglu, all of those guys. We're trying to encourage them to join the program at some point in time. I've already reached out to a lot of those guys, and they've shown interest. So if you want to give me a follow for more Saints coverage, and so that way you can interact more with not just me, but other Saints fans and content creators, give me a follow, and I'll hook you up. Kendall Taylor, we should draft the OT from Penn State. Not even reading the rest of the question, and I agree. Olu Fashanu should be the New Orleans Saints first round pick. No question about it. No questions. Olu Fashanu should be the pick. Maybe I can get justified. Not maybe. I can be, you know, convinced Brock Bowers, but Olu Fashanu, if he's there, that should be your pick. And then should we go Tavondre Sweat or Keon Coleman at 45? Both really good options at 45. But for wide receiver, I would almost rather go Xavier Leggett at wide receiver in round two. It's not that I don't like the Keon Coleman idea, but I think I like Xavier get Leggett. Like, like, here's Coleman, here's Leggett. It's literally just that much of a difference. But I also really like the idea of going offensive line round one and then defensive line with Tavondre Sweat. I think that could be a really good addition to the Saints depth chart really shore up the interior of the defensive line. It also gives Brian Brzee a young running mate uh, on the defensive line as well. So I think that could be a really good move. But Kendall, appreciate you, brother. Braden, do you think we will get Marvin Harrison Jr.? No, I do not. I think he is going to be a top five selection. The only way I could see him maybe falling is if like the first five picks are quarterbacks and then a bunch of other teams trade up to go get like offensive linemen, and uh, there's just no way. Like Marvin Harrison Jr. will be either the first or second wide receiver off the board, and I think that he doesn't even make it outside of the top five. Go Pels! Tyler Boyd is visiting teams. Could the Saints be in the mix? So the team's in the mix. This is bad radio, but I'm going to tell you who Tyler Boyd has met with. I know he talked with the 49ers, and at the, at the on the day of filming this video, which was Wednesday, April 3rd, the Buffalo Bills sent Stephon Diggs to the Texans. So the Bills might be a team that are interested. Um, but right now, the Dolphins, Chiefs, Lions, Chargers are some of the other teams that are interested in Tyler Boyd. I could really be in on this addition, though. Like, Tyler Boyd is a player who's, if anything, consistent. And I even did a deep dive on the fit and how productive he could be with the Saints. And when you look at the stats of his production before Jamar Chase joined the team, and then went after Jamar Chase and T. Higgins joined the team, specifically Jamar, the numbers are pretty consistent. Like the averages are similar, the touchdowns are similar, the yardage is really close. Like 
He is a consistent player, and I think that he could be an excellent wide receiver two slash three for New Orleans. But I want to ask you this question. Would you sign Tyler Boyd in free agency? Just give me a simple sign or a simple pass in the comment section. If you know ball, prove it by commenting down below. And while you're down there, we're in the midst of our April sub battle. We have a two-subscriber lead on those scumbag Atlanta Falcons and Matthew Peterson over at Falcons Today by Chat Sports. But I want to kick their ass even more in the walls because that means we're going to kick their ass on the field when it matters. So subscribe today to help us out and beat the Falcons. And if that's not reason enough, Daily Saints news, rumors, interactive content, and live shows almost every single day. Duff Nation, how do you feel about the Stefan Diggs trade? <sighs> Seeps, I actually might ask you to mic yourself up with this because you're, you, you, I know you're very opinionated on it being a, for, a Vikings fan. Stephon Diggs getting traded. Like, I personally think it's a good move for the Texans because it gives them another receiver. I don't know what the hell the Bills are doing, but what do you think, man? Uh, I like it for both teams, actually. I think, obviously, the Texans are in a win-now state. You got a quarterback on a rookie deal, but also I like it for Buffalo. You know, you're going to have a lot more cap space now with Diggs, you know, being off the team. And, you know, it opens up the opportunity for them to possibly trade for a guy like Ayuk or draft a guy in the later rounds. But, I don't know. I just think Stefan Diggs can never truly be happy wherever he's at. I mean, he had Josh Allen throw him the football, playing in the playoffs, and he still had a problem with it. Yeah, I mean, I, I, I think it's a good move. I, I think this is one of those trades that both teams win. Like, I don't think one team won the trade. I think both teams, it was a good move for both teams. Um, would I have loved to come to New Orleans? Maybe. But I will say this, with the trade compensation being as light as it was, makes T. Higgins very interesting as a trade idea. Mikey Taylor, $10 super chat. Any chance you would show my newest mock draft I sent you? Mikey, you ask, you receive here on Saints Now by Chat Sports. So for the first pick that you had the Saints selecting, you went with Brock Bowers, the Georgia tight end, and then at 45, Blake Fisher, the offensive tackle from Notre Dame. Traded up to go get Luke McCaffrey at pick 91, a Mizzou running back Cody Schrader at 168, Tyke Smith, safety out of Georgia at 170, Traven Wallace, the linebacker out of Kentucky at 175, Jalen Green, a sneaky, sneaky good player. Had 15 and a half sacks last year for James Madison. I love that selection at 199. And then Drake Stoops at 202. He traded to go and get him. And then Cameron Wire, the offensive tackle out of Tulane. And then maybe one of the better names in the draft, Beanie Bishop Jr. Headed, <laughs> Beanie Bishop Bayou. That could be what you call him if he ends up in New Orleans. Cornerback out of West Virginia. Mikey, I appreciate you sending me this uh, mock draft. I like what you did. I wouldn't have necessarily gone running back as early as you, but I can see why you would want to go that route. But I love the Jalen Green selection. I love the Brock Bauer selection. Luke McCaffrey, I think, was a really good pick as well. So, Mikey, I appreciate you for sending in your mock draft. Another reason to follow me on social media, is you can send me your mock draft roundups. Really quick reminder before we get back to your questions, I want you to download the GameTime app, plug in the promo code CHATSPORTS when it gives you the option to redeem a code, because if you type in C-H-A-T-S-P-O-R-T-S, -S, you get $20 off your first purchase. And why I love the Game Time app, it's the best seats, lowest price, guaranteed. And they have deals where the prices drop as the event gets closer. And on top of that, just a bigger reason to love it, they have flash deals, they have zone deals, and you can know when there's stadium promos going on. You see it in that middle picture, Lakers at Pelicans. They're giving away a Pelicans flag that game. So if you download the Game Time app, you can know when you can also go and get some free stuff just for buying a ticket. But you can get stuff for sporting events, uh, any live shows, any sort of comedy shows, theater, concerts, whatever. Just download the Game Time app. Use promo code CHATSPORTS for $20 off. Uh, terms do apply. Download the app. It's game time. Use code CHATSPORTS, $20 off. The last minute tickets, lowest price guaranteed. All right, Mike Evans, daddy. Great name, even better picture. Got to try out, uh, to pull off a Buda Baker trade. I don't know. I, yeah, I could be in. I, I, I could be in on a Buda Baker trade, actually. So, the, uh, shout out, producer Steve. Best in the business. The production last year. Kind of limited. Um, 
kind of underwhelming as well. But 2022, this guy had over 100 tackles. One tackle for loss, seven pass break, excuse me, seven pass breakups and two interceptions. Like, I think that this could be a good move to bring in alongside Tyron Matthew. Because at that point, you do really have two of the better safety or veteran safeties in the NFL holding it down for you in the black and gold. And I think that that could be a really beneficial thing for New Orleans. However, I just don't know what the trade compensation would look like. And to be honest, I'm not really interested in selling the farm to go and bring in a guy who, you know, was really good at one point in time. And for us Saints fans, our bi our biggest memory of the guy is the video of him diving after Andy Dalton threw another pick six in slow-mo on Thursday night football. So, like, I wouldn't hate Buda Baker as a trade option, but I'm not going to sell the farm. If you can go get him for cheap, sure, why not? All right, Kendall Taylor, back to you, my man. What wide receiver would you rather sign, Tyler Boyd, OBJ, or Hunter Renfro? You son of a gun, Kendall. You son of a gun. I don't want OBJ, um, but Tyler Boyd, Hunter Renfro, that's a tough one. That's a really tough one, actually. Hunter Renfro has the familiarity and chemistry with Derek Carr, has had a really good production when Carr was his quarterback. Third and Renfro is a thing. But Tyler Boyd is a really good player, too. He's a quality wide receiver, and I think that he could add an element to the Saints' offense that it's missing. And I also think that Tyler Boyd could be a good culture fit for New Orleans. Ah, man, I don't know. I'm going to go Tyler Boyd. I'm, I'm going to go Tyler Boyd. But I, I, Hunter Renfro is a very close second. In the comment section, I want you guys to let me know. Would you go Tyler Boyd, OBJ, or Hunter Renfro? Saints Josh fan, last couple questions. How do you feel about the upcoming season? Where do you think we are placing? So I think that this team is a 10-win team. I, I, think it's a, I think with Clint Kubiak coming in, you can add at least one win. I think this is a realistic double-digit win team. I don't think winning the division is out of the question. But I also do think that the Falcons have made a lot of really good moves to improve their roster tremendously. I also think the Panthers have done that as well. The Bucks have made some decent moves. They've, you know, maybe not made the best moves, but I, in terms of placing, I don't want to keep sounding like a homer and saying, yeah, the Saints will win the division. But I just can't, in good conscience, pick the Falcons to win the division. I, I, I just can't. And I don't think the Bucks will win it. So I think that the NFC South goes Saints, Falcons, and it might be Saints and Falcons in a similar situation to where the Saints and Bucks were, where it's like same record, but because of how things shook out, one team made it to the playoffs. And then Bucks and then Panthers. And, it, and if Kirk Cousins gets hurt, wildly change it up, Saints, Bucks. I'll take Panthers, Falcons. I'm just not going to pick the Falcons to win the division. That's just not something I'm interested in doing. But what I am interested in doing is interacting with you on social media. If you haven't already, give me a follow on Twitter and Instagram. Again, want to give you guys an opportunity to talk with me more. We can do Twitter spaces. We can interact on social media. And we can talk in front of a lot of other people and just, you know, have a good time talking ball. So hit me up at TraceGerard48. Y'all stay golden. We'll see you next time. Boom. All right. Last call, what I'm going to say here is Seeps is grabbing his beer boot. Can you grab the sh one shot fund for me? You do the boot, I'll do a shot fund with you. Um, so $10 Super Chat gets you this really dope puzzle. Has dogs watching the Saints. I think that this is a really cool puzzle. It's also an easy way for you to just kind of unplug, put your phone down, stop watching TV. Like What my girlfriend and I did is we cooked dinner. No TV. We just had music playing on my speakers, and we just did this puzzle for two nights. And it was a really fun date night. It cost zero dollars. And on top of that, I have a really cool like framed puzzle that's in my apartment now. So uh, if you guys want to get a puzzle that my girlfriend and I had the pleasure of doing as well, $10 Super Chat. We're going to raffle it off here in just a few minutes. We have over 100 and something entries. I don't even know what the number's at at this point, but it's big. It is a lot of names in there, and we're going to give it away to somebody very special. I know Queen Courtney hasn't been in the chat today. Um, it's not my business to share, but she is dealing with some family matters and some uh, important personal business. So 
Next time you see Queen Courtney in the chat or on social media or wherever, just say, hey, we're thinking about you. Hey, we love you. Like, you know, hope you're doing well. Um, it's not my business to share her personal life, but she's a very big part of our channel and she is a real one. So just next time you see her, show her a little bit of love. Um, that's all I ask. But $10 Super Chat gets you on the wheel to win this, uh, this pretty badass puzzle. Also, I'm going to change the live poll. Should we do a wheel spin or a duck race? Should we do a wheel? How sh should we decide the rap? All right. So vote in the live poll for me real quick. How do you guys want us to decide the raffle? Do you want it to be like a duck race or a dog race or like a bunch of other, or do you want it to be a spinning the wheel? Hold on. I, I typed it in wrong. I typed it in wrong. Should we spin the wheel or? All right. How should we decide the raffle? Vote in the live poll. I just fixed it. I just fixed it. Duck race or wheel spin? What do you guys want to see? Duck race is like a 60 second. They all kind of go here. It's actually really electric. They're a lot of fun. The wheel spin is just boom. And we know who it is here in less than 10 seconds. So what do you guys want to do? You want to spin the wheel or you want to do a duck race? The duck race, like I said, it's about 60 seconds. And they, the ducks all line up, and they're run, racing across the pond. It's pretty cool. Um, let us know what you guys want to do. Locked and loaded. Hell yeah, brother. All right. Cheers to you guys, producer Seeps. Taking down a happy dad boot. Lemon lime. Great flavor. All right. Tastes like Sprite. If you have it, yeah. it tastes like Sprite, which is a pretty good one. Cheers, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, it's so cold. It's so cold. Seeps, 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 seeps. Chug, 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 chug. Yeah! That's how they do it out in Xavier, baby. That's how they do it out in the Big East. Shout out to Randy. Shout out to Nico. Shout out to Mikey. And also shout out. To producer seeps that is awesome jeremy gates saying the duck race is hilarious i love it okay just uh randy saying just my love to you and your girlfriend awesome job to you both maddie should sign you maybe i can get maddie to sign your football randy maybe i can get her to sign your football so uh, randy for the record uh i just saw a picture of your football because we ordered it because the bosses just got back in town it looks awesome I'm gonna autograph it. I'll have producer Seeps autograph it if he's in if he's at the office that day. I can see if I can get my girlfriend autograph it for you too, just because I know that you send it. You've been, sent a bunch of emails and showed a bunch of love there too. So we want to make sure you're getting your love back. All right. You got a 20 second spinner. How many is on there? 146. 146 entries. No longer spin here. 146, ladies and gentlemen. All right. You ready? Who wants to win the puzzle? Who wants to see who's going to win the puzzle? All right. Come on. Producer Seeps, without further ado, spin that wheel. Here we go. Who's it going to be? Who's it going to be? Oh, my God. It's moving so fast. I can't even tell. I can't even tell. Who is it? Who is it? Who is it? Who is it? Mikey? Who is it? Mikey? Mikey! Mikey! <laughs> oh my god, I thought the wheel was I done! Th yes! I thought it was done! Mayhem! Dude, and it's crazy, his lanky had one entry. No way. He had oh, one god. entry. Holy cow, that would have been crazy. Mikey, I got your shipping information, so we'll send you the puzzle here. ASAP. I'll DM you, brother. So you have our MVP football and our raffle item headed your way, as well as Randy has an MVP football headed to him as lanky. Dude, I... I know, man. I know, dude. I was lo I love Mikey Taylor, but when I saw you had the one, I was like, oh, Mikey, I can, like, come on, man. Come on. 
But I will say this. Um, Lanky, he joined our Twitter space. Feel free to show your thoughts in the chat, Lanky. Uh, I think we had a good time. We got to talk ball for like an hour. It was a lot of fun. It was, it was literally just me, Lanky, and two other dudes just talking football, talking Saints football. It was a blast. But Mikey Taylor, we're mailing you a puzzle. And who that nation, I just want to say thank you guys for making March an incredible month. Hey, I'm going to tell you this right now. April's going to be great. April's going to be a good time. The draft is going to be fun. The live shows are going to be great. And the coverage is going to not slow down whatsoever. Encourage you to subscribe if you haven't already. As always, Saints fans, y'all stay golden. We got a video coming out after this here in just a few minutes. And then content coming at you all weekend. We'll see you next time.